In our earlier grades, we have learned about the basics of cuboid, about edges, about vertices, about the faces and all. In this video tutorial, let's talk about the total surface area and the lateral surface area of a cuboid. Now, before discussing that, let's quickly discuss one very important thing. This is a rectangular cuboid and this is a square cuboid. What's the difference? The difference is in the case of the rectangular cuboid, the six faces, all the six faces are of the rectangular shape. They are of the rectangular shape. But in this case of the square cuboid, the top surface, this top surface and this bottom surface, these two faces, the top face and the bottom face, these two faces are actually of the square shape these two faces are square shape rest all are rectangular but only the top surface and the bottom surface are squares therefore we call it square cuboid but if all the faces are rectangular in that case the cuboid is called rectangular cuboid we'll limit our discussion to rectangular cuboids only okay now the total surface area so in this case of rectangular cuboid, this is length, this is breadth, and this is the height of this cuboid. Now in this case, if we take the total surface area, the total surface area means what? The area of all the faces, right? The area of this base, the area of this top surface, the area of this, you know, right side face, left side face, front face, and the back face. So we have six faces. It means that, 6 multiplied by, not 6 multiplied by, but area of, area of all the 6 faces, all the 6 faces. Okay, now we know that the bottom face and the top face will have the same area because they are identical, right? This is length, this is breadth. Same thing is here, this is length and this is breadth. So if this is a rectangle, its area will be length multiplied by breadth, that is L multiplied by B. And in this case also, it will be L multiplied by B, right? So area of bottom face is equal to area of The top face and that is equal to what length multiplied by breadth so for these two faces if we take the total area that will be two times two times length multiplied by breadth this plus this means two times length multiplied by breadth okay now if you take this front face and the back face so in the front face rectangle the length is L and if you take this H as the breadth of this rectangle, the area will be, so if we are taking the front face, area of the front face is equal to the area of the back face and that is equal to what? Length multiplied by height. Same thing for the back face, length multiplied by height height the rectangle so this becomes l multiplied by h so if we add these two together taking the two areas the front and the back you get two times l multiplied by h now the right side face and the left side face are identical now in this case again area of the right side face is equal to the area of the left side the left side face and it is equal to what breadth multiplied by height same thing here breadth multiplied by height so this is breadth multiplied by height if we take the total area of these two faces you get 2 multiplied by breadth multiplied by height Okay, so we have 
these three areas of this is bottom and top front and back faces right and left faces okay so it means that if we add these three areas together then we'll get the total surface area so if you add them together you get 2 multiplied by L multiplied by B plus 2 multiplied by L multiplied by H plus 2 multiplied by I need a space so let me remove this Two multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. Now, from this equation, from this expression, if you take this term, two is here. If you take this term, two is here. If you take this term, two is here. Let's take two common. So, two multiplied by length multiplied by breadth plus. Let's rearrange it. We can write it as breadth multiplied by height then plus length multiplied by height. I've just simply rearranged it, taking two common, and then length multiplied by breadth, then breadth multiplied by height, just to make this uh, formal look, you know, proper. So that is two times LB plus BH plus LH. This is the formula to calculate the total surface area of a cuboid, right? So the total surface area of a cuboid means the area of all the six faces. This is a formula you should remember. Two times length multiplied by breadth plus breadth multiplied by height plus length multiplied by height. Okay. Now let's talk about lateral surface area. Now in the case of lateral surface area, what you have to do is simply remove this top face and the bottom face. If you remove the top area of this top face and the area of this bottom face, you get the lateral surface area. So what will be the lateral surface area in this case? The area of the area of front plus area of back face first you calculate this one so front and back we have calculated here if you remember here it is 2 LH right so write it as 2 times LH that's 2 multiplied by L multiplied by H and then area of right face plus area of left face and you get what you get 2 times b multiplied by h so this is 2 b h right so this is 1 this is 2 we have simply remove the two areas of the top surface and the bottom face so you get lateral surface area as if you add these two together, 2 multiplied by LH plus 2 multiplied by BH. Let's take 2 common. In this expression, we have 2 common. Let's take 2 common. You get LH plus BH. Right? So this is the formula to calculate the lateral surface area. Lateral surface area simply means that you have to ignore the area of the bottom face and the top face the two areas okay so the next thing is can we say that total surface area is actually lateral surface area plus two times area of base of course yes how lateral surface area means that area of front face plus area of back face plus area of right face plus area of left face so what are the two faces left the bottom and the top the area of the bottom surface face and the area of the top face are actually the same because these two faces are actually identical it means that it means that if we simply find the area of this bottom base of the base 
and if we multiply with it by 2 it means that this plus this right these two areas are the same of the bottom and of the top so lateral surface area plus 2 times of area of base 2 times of area of base means this area the bottom one plus the top one that will give you the total surface area that's that makes sense right okay and then the last thing let's say that this is our rectangular cuboid and what we do is we simply you know turn this cuboid in a manner now this height the height has now become the length of this cuboid the length of this cuboid has now become the height of this cuboid and the breadth is the same right it's again the breadth is same so you tell me will the total surface area change no the total surface area will not change because all the faces are the same we have only simply rotated it okay but what about lateral surface area will the lateral surface area of this cuboid be different from the lateral surface area of this cuboid let's find it out so in this case we have calculated the lateral surface area is actually what the lateral surface area is 2 times LH plus BH let's write it here 2 times LH plus BH right okay so now in this case let's find out the lateral surface area so we have to rem uh, ignore the area of bottom face and the area of, of top face we have to ignore this let's calculate the area of the front face that will be exactly the same to the area of the back face the front face and the area of the back face will be the same so the area of the front face plus the area of the back face will be equal to what two times because both are the same now what will be the area h in this case is length multiplied by this breadth that is l so 2 h l okay now the area of the right face plus the area of the left right face plus the area of the left face will be equal to what two times two y because both are the same and multiplied by the length in this case if we take this as this as a b and the height as l so this will be what b l b l now if you add these two together if you add these two together you get two times h l plus b l right so clearly these two are not the same the total surface area will be the same but in the case of lateral surface area the lateral surface area of this cuboid will be different from the lateral surface area of this cuboid